Hi, we're Trevor and Emma from Project Base 8000. Our goal is to trek to the base camps of all the world's 14 highest mountains over 8,000 metres. As always, we start in Kathmandu and go to Budanath to spin the prayer wheels. Good luck! On this trek to Manaslu Base Camp, we were excited to join up with a climbing expedition and stay at their base camp. Climb Malaya is the same company we had used for the Choi Oyu Advanced Base Camp trek in Tibet back in 2019, so we looked forward to seeing them again. This was the hardest trek we've done. <laughs> well, I do have a habit of saying this after every base camp trek. Our first challenge was the weather, because climbing season is earlier than the standard trekking season, so it's more rainy due to the end of the monsoon. And more rain means more muddy trails, more waterfalls, more landslides, and many, many more leeches. There were long days of trekking in hot, humid conditions. Now, did you notice that I'm carrying a very small backpack? While those challenging conditions got me early on, I slipped and landed on a sharp rock, injuring what I thought was my ribs and the side of my back. But I managed to soldier on and hoped I'd get better later on. Along with the challenges, we had spectacular views as we trekked through deep gorges, passing through the villages and beautiful green fields. We stayed in tea houses on this trek until we reached base camp. We really enjoyed the delicious dal bar cooked with fresh vegetables picked straight from the gardens. The fresh mint tea was perfect after a long day's trek. We were glad to have an excellent guide, Lakpa, as well as the company of a Polish and Argentinian climber.
once the clouds cleared, we finally glimpsed the big mountains. Before long we reached Semagoan, the village where climbers congregate before the 1300 metre climb up to base camp. Semagoan is the home of a couple of lovely monasteries. We joined climbers from other expeditions for our first puja blessing with a local lama. From Semagoan we got our first glimpse of Menaslu. We sensed the anticipation in the air as climbers from different expeditions arrived. Samagoan village is also the base for helicopters to drop off expedition loads and then transport them up to base camp by mules or porters. We then started our 1300 metre ascent to base camp, a very tough climb. Luckily the day was fine and there was a small tea house halfway up where we had some welcome noodle soup. Then suddenly, over a rise, we could see tents in the distance. Our goal, Manusley Base Camp at around 4,881 metres. As we neared the camp, we were amazed by the tent city that housed over 400 climbers, Sherpas and crew, well over a thousand people all up. Climalaya's campsite was about halfway up the ridge, our home away from home for the next few nights. We were happy to be reacquainted with French and Spanish climbers from our expedition to Chouaou back in 2019, along with Sherpa climbers who we'd been with on other expeditions. We also met climbers from many different nationalities. <laughs> After spending three enjoyable nights up at base camp, it was time to leave. But not before our expedition team held their puja ceremony to seek safe passage on the mountain. It was a very special and auspicious occasion, followed by lots of singing and dancing at the end.
Adventures don't always go to plan. On our trek down to San Miguel from base camp, the rivers had risen and were tricky to cross. I had to be medevaced by helicopter back to Kathmandu because after my previous fall on the rocks, the pain was definitely getting worse. Very sadly, we parted ways. I flew out the next day while Emma continued on to finish the trek. Although disappointed that I couldn't finish the rest of the trek, it was amazing to fly over the valleys and gorges that we trekked through. So I set off from Samagoan to finish the trek with a yak for company and thankfully with Latpar our guide and Raju one of our porters. We headed for Lakiala Pass, trekking along a beautiful mountain trail. Never missing an opportunity to post one of our stickers in the tea houses. Finally we reached the pass. I was pretty exhausted due to the altitude and the long trek, but at least it was downhill from here. The trail was quiet, except for a few climbers who were trekking in towards Samagawan and base camp. Then it was back down amongst the trees, rivers, waterfalls and Wi-Fi. Then into a jeep for the drive back to Kathmandu to meet back up with my trekking buddy. Having finished our trek to Manaslu Base Camp, we have almost completed our project, having trekked to 13 out of the 14 base camps. We plan to do the last one, Annapurna, in 2023.